Just to have your family look at you and get angry is the worst feeling in the world. It's funny, right? I'm just a dreamer, someone who's just zoned out. I don't really know how to start this thing. People say they daydream too much, but I don't care. When I was in here, me and my mom were homeless. I look around and I see everyone laughing and getting along. Just to have your family look at you with so much anger is the worst thing in the world. It's like you don't even matter, like you don't exist. It's like you're the most hated person in the world. But then I think to myself, am I upset because they hate me or are their hateful words making me hate me? I see it now. I was seven years old and they left me in a store. I waited for two hours, two hours for someone to come and get me. But my parents just left me. I'm the only one that takes care of my brother. I feel as I can be his mother more than my mother. She's either out partying, and when she is home, she's asleep. I don't know why my family looks at me the way they do. But I do know that I matter. I matter to my little brother. I matter to my friends. And I matter to God. And I'll show them that I don't always have to hate me. I'll have kids of my own. And you know how it feels for someone to love them the way my brother knows that I love him. It's funny, right? I'm just a boy who's always daydreaming, just a daydreamer. I'm a little orphan who, who's always wanted a family, but not just any family, the best family for me. What I mean by that is, I want a house made out of uh, gumdrops and lollipops uh, and a mother with sparkly pink glasses and hard candy nails. A brother who's made out of gummy bears. Oh, and as for my dad, he'd be the best pop in the world. He'd have a lifesaver tie and rainbow underwear. And I'd just fit right in with my black tutu and curly hair. And they would love me. They would care for me. And they'd make me hot cocoa with, with marshmallows and, and sprinkles. And they would never leave me. I really don't know how to start this thing. I'm not that good at speaking. It's just, well, I get really jealous when I see someone with their dad. I think to myself, he probably knows how to ride a bike, to tie a tie, or to catch a ball. One day, I hope to be a father, and I do all those things with my kid. It's not my mother's fault. I understand that it's hard raising a kid on your own. And I bet a lot of you can relate to that, but that doesn't matter. It will never happen. I just wish I had a dad. People say I daydream too much, but I don't care. Even though I don't say it, I really don't care what they think of me. You know, I'm so sick of everyone undermining the problems that I've had to go through. Because this is not just some teen phase, and it never was. They never cared about me. They never listened. They, no one was there for me. No one was there when my stepdad sexually abused me, beat me, and kicked me out when I was trying to stand up for myself. No one was there. When I tried to kill myself, I was alone and no one was there. I just want to say that no one knows what true pain and suffering is until you're just at this loss for words. And you're forced to hide in your own world where I forget my pain 
and my fear and everything that I've gone through. My daydreams are the only place where I'm safe. When I was younger, me and my mom were homeless. She left me in the hands of my grandmother while she do things with men for money. My grandmother, she was warm and loving, but that's only when other people are around. When we're alone, she's totally different. When it's cold, she has all the blankets. She doesn't even care for me. And worst of all, she's an alcoholic. One day, I decided to run away. She called me, and she promised me that if I came back, she would stop drinking. She promised. I came back because I trusted her. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. Nothing's changed except for me. I don't trust her. I don't believe her promises anymore. And when I grow up, I will never treat my kids like that. I will love them and care for them and feed them. And always make promises that I can keep. I look around and I see everybody laughing and pretzel. What? I look around and I see everybody laughing and pretzel. Oh, we. Oui. 